Now, in case you're suffering from temporary amnesia, let me remind you, you are watching BBC One, and this is Points of View. Did you need telling? Seems BBC Three, BBC Four, CBeebies, and many of the BBC's other digital channels think you do, because they put up that little icon known as a dog, or digital on-screen graphic. And it's there all the time, so you know where you are. And we don't mind, do we? Oh, yes, we do. Why do TV channels insist on putting static logos on our TV screens whilst we're watching? The children's channels from the BBC are particularly bright, and even though part of the logo is animated, the rest isn't. So we just get a static image burnt into plasma TVs. The same with the BBC Breakfast News. Why do I have to have a clock telling me what the time is? I've got clocks in my house. I don't need it constantly on the screen. Martin uploaded his moan via our website. Why not give it a go? Uh, it's very easy, by the way. We'll try and get you an answer like this one. First of all, let's hear why the BBC insists on putting a logo some viewers find irritating and distracting on its digital channels. Most of us today are watching digital television um, and with that we have a vast choice in terms of the number of channels that we're able to watch and, and the digital on-screen graphic or the channel logo that appears in the corner is a really helpful tool for, for viewers to be able to know what channel they're watching um, and also as you navigate around the channels you know where you are. We're obviously always mindful of what, what feedback we get from our viewers and, and we, we take it very seriously. Um, but I think on balance we've decided that the benefit of being able to tell people what channel they're watching and to help them to navigate um, is more important than, than the distraction for a small number of people. Although, you know, as I say, we are very mindful of, of, of their concerns. Next, Martin's complaint about screen burn-in. Now, this happens when logos remain on screen for long periods. The logo gets burnt onto the screen. It only affects big plasma screens, and the BBC's technologists are trying to combat the problem. We do try, as far as we can, to follow the guidelines that we've agreed with the consumer industry to reduce the level of our logos such that they're still legible but are at a, a sensibly low level that should not cause problems with burn-in. There are other techniques for reducing burn-in. You can move the logo very slightly. It doesn't have to be very much, just to blur the edges so that you don't get a hard burn-in. For buyers of new plasma screens, a tip from the techies to avoid burn-in almost completely? When you get it home, it will have been set up for showroom use at absolute maximum brightness and the best advice is to reduce the brightness of the screen to about half something around there to reduce the risk of burning the BBC department known as the kennels where they keep all those dogs and they're having a rough time at the moment because they do credit squeezing too and we know how furious that makes you shortly we'll go and see them unleash the hounds of hell